Hello, and welcome to this demonstration of JBoss Views on OpenShift. In previous screencasts, we've shown you how to install the cartridge and get started with Views on OpenShift. In this demonstration, we will show you how to use the Fuse Management Console to create a new container and install the Twitter example, one of many preloaded examples. I'm already logged in, so on the main OpenShift page, I click on My Apps. I already have the Fuse cartridge running, and when I click on that, OpenShift displays information about that cartridge. In this view, we see the status of that application. Make sure that that application is running. It displays Started to the right of the URL. If it is not running, you can restart it by clicking the Restart icon, which is to the right of the status and the gear usage. At the top, there is a URL for the application. Clicking this URL brings me into the Fuse Management Console. I'm going to open that in a new tab. Since I've saved my password, I don't have to log in again. Now we are at the Fuse Management Console and the Runtime Area and the Container page, which lists all the containers running in Fuse. Here we have one container that is a Fuse server and it is hosting the Fuse Management Console. To provision a new gear in OpenShift that is running Fuse, we need to create a new container. We do this by going over to the Create button and clicking it. This takes us to the Create New Container screen. Here we can choose the container type, but we're going to leave it because it's already pre-selected to use OpenShift. Each container needs a unique name, so for this demo we will call it My Twitter. Next, we need to give the container credentials to log into OpenShift. The Management Console remembers those, so we don't need to re-enter them this time. If they're not there, we would need to enter them and then click the Log into OpenShift button. Next, choose the gear size from what you have available. For this demonstration, we're going to use a medium gear, but we could use a small gear and the example would run just fine. In the list of profiles on the right-hand side, we're going to instruct Fuse what to run in this new container. And to do that, we assign a profile to the container. For this demo, we're going to use the Twitter example, so we can use the filter to find it by starting to type Twitter. We can quickly find the Twitter example and select it. That is the last choice we need to make, and now we can press the Create and Start Container button, which has appeared to indicate we have entered all the required information. This takes us back to the runtime area and the list of containers. My new container appears as the management console is starting it up, creating a new gear on OpenShift, installing the Fuse cartridge, starting the Fuse server, which is going to provision this new container and install the Twitter example. We can click on the My Twitter container to watch the status change as the gear spins up and is configured. On the right of the screen is the status panel, and this information will be updated in real time. You will also receive several update messages during this process that can take a few minutes depending on the gear size. With the magic of editing, we're going to speed this up a bit. Now you see that the provision status is success, and Fuse has detected that Apache Camel is running in the container. You can tell by the Camel icon and services. Now that we have a full Fuse container running, the Twitter example, let's connect to that container and see what's happening. So click the Open button to connect to that container, and we can see inside the container. If you are asked for a username and password, use admin and the password you were given when you started the Fuse cartridge. And here we see logs about the Twitter example. This one is detail of a tweet we have received from Twitter. We received it because someone tweeted camel, and that is the default keyword that this example uses. Fuse has also detected that camel is running in this container, so the Dynamic Management Console has added a tab for camel. This shows us all the camel applications that run inside this container. Right now, we only have the camel example Twitter. This example has one route. And here we have information about this application, and these numbers will update in real time as people tweet about camel. We can also see details about the route by clicking on the actual route in the camel tree on the left. Now we can see some more details about the route. At the top are some more buttons, and by clicking on the diagram button, we can see a visual diagram of the route. Now this route is very simple, just a connection to Twitter but you can see the number of messages coming through this route. Now not that many tweets are mentioning camel, so let's change the parameters to a more popular term. So let's go back to the log tab and move it to a separate window. I'm going to move back to the fabric perspective now, and we're going to click on the Twitter example. Now we can see information about my Twitter example and what Fuse calls a profile. This is a collection of files, readme, routes, configuration, etc. You can see the camel route indicated by the camel icon, and it's showing us that it's coded in XML. And the README file is actually displayed in the bottom part of the screen so you can document your profile. At the top of the screen, we have some additional information about the profile. 
You can also manage views in a shell, so in this readme file, we have instructions on how to set up this example using the shell commands. We're going to stay with the web console for this demonstration. So at the bottom of the readme file, we have instructions on how to change the keyword for the Twitter search. It tells us to go edit a properties file, so let's go do that. Back at the top of the screen, click on that file in the directory list. Now we can see the properties file in the management console. And on line 5, we can see the keyword camel. So let's change it to a keyword that more people are tweeting about. To do that, we go over to the right side and click the Edit button. Now that we're in the editor, it lets us change the keyword to iPad and see if that captures more tweets in our route. We click Save, and the profile is updated. Fuse automatically detects that there has been a change to the profile, and then it reprovisions any containers running that profile, and it does it in real time. So when we go back to the log screen, and you may have seen it updating in the background, we can see the updates in the log, and if we scroll down, we should see some activity based on the keyword iPad. If we click into one, we can actually see where it logs the keyword iPad. So in this demonstration, we have started up the Fuse Management Console, explored some of the features of the console, and created a simple Twitter integration from one of the included examples, and edited it to change the keyword. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you enjoy working with JBoss Fuse on OpenShift.